Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are reviewing the pharmacy Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum, which looks like this. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have yet to subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. This is a lightweight, antioxidant rich, hyaluronic acid based serum that is formulated to plump, hydrate, and minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. You can find this serum at pharmacy.com and sephora.com. She does retail for $44 and you do receive one ounce. This serum contains hyaluronic acid and the salt form of hyaluronic acid to plump and hydrate the skin. Sodium hyaluronate, the 12th ingredient within this formula, is the salt form of hyaluronic acid, which is considered to be more effective than pure hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid, the 11th ingredient within this formula, increases your skin's moisture content. It's a calming, soothing ingredient that holds 1,000 times its own weight in water. We also see glycerin, a skin replenishing ingredient. There's honey extract, turmeric root extract, and we also see three pore ingredients, including limonene and linalool, fragrances that can cause sensitivity in some. I introduced Feeling Good to the Skin on April 9th. The first night I used two full pumps to cover the face, neck, and chest. I noticed that the serum spread easily and evenly over the skin, and it only took a few seconds to dry. I also noticed that it had a slight honey-like scent. Once absorbed, my skin felt smooth and it had a subtle glow. During this time, I was using my Jan Marini Retinol Cream, which I will link the review to that video up above in case you missed it. So I needed a hydrating routine after reaching for that product quite a bit on consecutive nights. The following day, my skin woke up smoother, plumper, and more hydrated. I revisited this serum on April 28th. I did my nighttime skincare routine earlier than usual since I'd just introduced the Desi Skin Claro Que Si Vitamin C Glow Serum and my skin was parched that day. I really needed some hydration and I needed it quickly. So I used two full pumps of the Pharmacy Filling Good Serum to the skin. And once I applied it to the skin, my skin felt hydrated, plump, and relieved. On this night, I noted that the scent is definitely not my favorite. Um, it is not foul, in no way is it foul, or a deal breaker personally, but those who are sensitive to scents may definitely want to smell this product if possible prior to purchasing. I have used a number of hyaluronic acid-based serums before, some with sensitizing ingredients and some without some with fragrance and some without. Although I did not do kind of like a split test between this uh, Filling Good Serum and the others in my collection, this is probably my second, third, or fourth favorite as it did in fact provide my skin with hydration and relief, especially after introducing tretinoin to my skin. Because this serum is not greasy, I can see myself using this year round, even during the summer when my normal skin needs some hydration 
and some plumping. From using this, I have noticed hydrated, plumper, balanced skin with a healthy glow. The glow that I get from this serum is not a greasy glow and it does not feel heavy whatsoever. So if you have oily skin that is also dehydrated, I feel like you actually may enjoy this serum. I have used Feeling Good with multiple serums, multiple creams, multiple moisturizers and multiple SPFs without any issues. I've used this with my chemical and mineral SPFs with formulas that are both very moisturizing and formulas that have a matte finish and I have had no issues. I have used this at night with my Myriad Nutrient Charged Water Gel, Jan Marini's Transformation Cream, Drunk Elephant's Proteiny Polypeptide Cream, and just recently with the Myriad intense recovery cream which I didn't think I was going to do a review on this particular moisturizer but since introducing tretinoin to the skin um, I have been reaching for this a lot so I will definitely be doing a review on this so make sure you stay tuned because my skin has been particularly uh, tight and dry I love pairing the pharmacy feeling good with the Murad intense recovery cream the most Pre-tretinoin introduction, I loved pairing the Pharmacy Filling Good Serum with my Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream for some strengthening and some lightweight moisture. My favorite way to use this, considering that I have actually used this morning and evening, I'm going to show you, or not show you, but tell you uh, the two different ways that I enjoy using this. So during the day, I will obviously cleanse and tone. I will apply two pumps of the Desi Claro Que Si uh, Vitamin C Glow Serum. I actually uh, just recently uploaded a review on this, so I will also link that review up above in case you missed it and would like to learn a little bit more about my experience using this particular serum and um, after applying two pumps of the Desi Claro Que Si I use one pump of this to my skin to act as a kind of moisturizer. I definitely do not think that this gives me enough hydration to get me through the day so that is where feeling good comes in so i'll use one pump of this and then i'll follow it with whatever sunscreen i want to use that day nighttime use sometimes immediately after getting home from work i will wash my face could just be because i'm wearing a mask i feel like i just have to take everything off but immediately after getting home from work i will wash my face. So I will cleanse, I will tone, and then I will go in with two pumps of this. And I will apply it to my face, neck, and chest area. And then I apply whatever moisturizer I feel like. Recently, it's been this little guy. I have not used Feeling Good with an oil because for some reason I am just not gravitating towards oils currently. So I would recommend Feeling Good to all skin types dealing with dry skin who are also concerned with the signs of aging, loss of firmness, and elasticity. Because Feeling Good does contain a couple of poor ingredients, some fragrance, I definitely suggest that sensitive skin types perform a patch test. I can be sensitive to drying alcohols, some fragrance, and some essential oils. Um, but I personally did not experience any uh, redness or irritation from using Feeling Good. Pros, um, I definitely like the packaging. It's very pharmacy and I feel like it fits in really nicely with the pharmacy uh, product family. Um, I like that my skin absorbs this uh, very is easily and I like that it's not sticky and it's not 
greasy. And it's not greasy to where I, I can't use this during the day. In fact, I've been reaching for this almost daily. Um, I also like that it works really, really nicely alone or it works um, really nicely over other serums. I love that this serum did not irritate or cause my skin to further break out and this did not further congest my skin. Um, cons. <sighs> this product smells um, this product smells like earthy kind of honey. Um, the scent can definitely be a deal breaker for some. If you are sensitive to scents, please, please get out there and smell this. Um, like I said, the scent is not a deal breaker for me as I can't smell it after the product uh, sinks into the skin. But if you, my dear, are sensitive to scents, please go to your local Sephora. Hope they have a tester there and that you can smell this. Um, if you, of course, if you are sensitive to scents. Now, if you do not mind like very natural earthy scents, Maybe you would like the scent in this. However, do keep in mind that they did add like fragrance, aroma, and limonene and linalool to perhaps kind of mask an even worse scent. I am listing, although not a deal breaker for me, the scent as a con. This does contain some sensitizing ingredients. I am going to be rating a pharmacy's Feeling Good in 8 0.5 out of 10. Um, I am docking half a point for the poor ingredients, which are three and five because of the scent. Um, like I mentioned, it is a, not a deal breaker for me, but it may be a deal breaker for some. And I'm also docking half a point for the flavor or the aroma as they describe in their ingredients list. Do you see satiral alcohol in the, I think that's how you say it, satiral alcohol in the ingredients list. This is a fatty alcohol, however, so it is not a drying alcohol, so you should be a-okay with that. Overall, I enjoyed the serum. I love how it left my skin feeling hydrated, plump, and smooth whenever I needed that relief. And when I tell you I needed that relief, I needed that relief. Be the relief needed in the morning or in the evening portion of my skincare routines. So that is all I have for you all. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have tried this, if you have smelt this. Let me know in the comments down below. I really, really would like to know your opinion on this product. Thank you all for spending some time with me today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have yet to subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.